Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2 now. Specifically, we're gonna be doing a guide for the Lake of Shadows GM Nightfall. Now I'm starting with this one because I feel like this is the easiest one for new people to start off with and because I don't have full footage for the other two. So it's, yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So if you were to ask me, Tony, what should I use in the GM Nightfall? I'm gonna tell you right now, let's look into the artifact so the artifact has a bunch of stuff that is going to be very valuable to you but if i'm going to be really honest with you guys i'm going to tell you guys use unstoppable burst for the pulse rifle overload arrowheads for the bow don't even look at the hand cannons i would highly suggest not to use a hand cannon mostly because you have to be medium to close range for them to be good with a bow and a pulse rifle you could be pretty far away and still get kills so that's one of my main things that I'm going to say right now. Uh, if you want to use an exotic pulse rifle, then you could use unstoppable pulse rifle for your arms and whatever. Just use it as regular. I will say if you're going to use overload grenades, which cause disruption to the overload champions, then you might as well pair it with oppressive darkness. Might as well get that damage in, especially for overload champions, which I will explain why later. And Inferno Whip to get your solar melee abilities to stagger basically the unstoppable champions. That's pretty much it. I highly suggest you don't use a hand cannon, mostly because the range is pretty shit. And especially in Grandmaster Nightfalls, everything can kill you really fast. Have I used hand cannons? Fuck yes. I love hand cannons. They're one of my favorite archetypes. But for GMs, I'd rather just be super far away and do damage then medium range and get shit on so that's just my opinion obviously you can run whatever you want if you want to run a hand cannon instead of a pulse rifle fucking go man this is all you i'm just gonna tell you right now it's easier because you don't have to worry about stuff so now for subclasses if you're running a hunter i would highly suggest i would highly recommend bottom tree void mostly because you can turn your your friends invisible if you want to do solar, you can do solar. Just know that you won't have invisibility. If you're okay with not having invisibility, then I would say, honestly, bottom tree solar with Celestial Nighthawk is the play. If you want to be on the extra careful side, you can do Warm Husk. You can do a lot of things for hunters. But honestly, that one's just up to you. If I was running my hunter, I would be using bottom tree void with the six coyote. Honestly, that's a great role. If you your friends don't want the invisibility, then top tree vo void with again six coyote because of the double dodge. For titans, honestly, I was running top tree up for bubble, obviously for void. If you want to use solar, you could use bottom tree solar because that one is really good for survivability if you want to use art you're fucking weird and i wouldn't recommend it for warlocks obviously middle tree solar is great bottom tree void for for devourers really good and if you want to use arc you're fucking weird because don't do it if you're doing middle tree i can probably see you doing that but that's pretty much it so let's look at the actual encounter so it's gonna spawn you you guys hear clicking i'm literally going through my video but you guys will see something else so it's going to spawn you all the way where it usually spawns you in lake of shadows if you want to go through the whole thing like i am like a crazy man make sure you have the sparrow from the scourge of the past because that that sparrow specifically has a mod where enemies detect you uh, what is it slower than other sparrows that's why I was able to fly through it because they didn't detect me as fast as they usually do. Now, when you get to the Mavic Square, you're going to want to either turn your everyone invisible if you're a hunter with bottom tree void, or you're going to all run at the same time to this one area where we're all running. Mostly because if you stay where you're where we were, you're going to die. There's going to be void darts that are going to kill you. There's going to be a bunch of stuff that are going to kill you. It's stupid. So once you're here, honestly, just kill everything from range. Don't even think about using a shotgun. Don't even think about using anything dumb like that. You're just gonna wanna be using snipers and your, your primaries, obviously. Your swords, you should probably never use unless you're killing the unstoppables and you're all, kill like, you're all killing him with a sword. You guys will see what I'm talking about in a minute. 
So you're gonna be wanting to take these Taken Centurions out because they throw the darts and the darts will kill you instantly. The Unstoppable, you can use Izanagi's, which is what I was doing. If you're all using Izanagi, dude's probably gonna go down instantly. The Unstoppable Taken Phalanx will occasionally be in the Blight, which is fucking annoying, but just persevere and just kill him. Once you kill him and once you kill everything in, take the Blights out and once the Blights are done, this is when you're gonna wanna be careful because an Overload Champion's in there. You're gonna see, what is it? Three snipers. There's gonna be one on the far left, or yeah, actually far, one in the far left, the one in the middle is the Overload, and the one on the right is just a regular one. Kill the two in, on the left and the right, and the over, Overload Champion, make sure Every, like once he once he goes down, make sure everyone takes him down because he he will fuck you up if you're not careful. Exactly like how it happened right now. I died and my friend died because this is hard. Like everything hits harder. I'm not saying it's hard. Like oh my god, this is crazy. It's more of just everything hits fucking hard. So just keep in mind that you can't do anything too crazy. And overall, just be careful. Now, after you kill the Overload Champion, there's gonna be two unstoppable champions right there in the Blight. You're gonna wanna kill everything unless you see one coming up, like right now, how one of them's coming up to me. I would highly recommend you do what I'm doing right now and kindly fucking off because he will fuck you up. So what I did was I told my team, I'm gonna put him down and we're all gonna sword him, which is what we all did. And if you guys can see, we instantly melted him. This is a great way to kill the unstoppables, but be careful because there are two. The only reason we took our swords out is because one of them was just coming at me. Now, you're gonna wanna kill all the snipers that are here. There's one on the right of the blight. There's another two on the side. I, obviously, I'll show you guys right now, but that's them. Once that happens, this is where it's pretty much kind of scary because that unstoppable asshole sometimes stays in there like how it is right now so <clears throat> so once the unstoppable champion comes out Make sure your whole team's ready. If you want to, use, if you need to use your sword to make more distance, by all means, do it. Don't be afraid to. You're gonna get ammo. Now, I will say his blast will kill you instantly. Don't even fuck around with that because I died from it, and my friend died from it too. Actually, I died from just getting shot. But once that happens, just sword him down because he is the last one. So I would just recommend you sorting him and then just killing him. Once you take down the Blight, an Overload Champion is going to spawn. What I ended up doing was I ended up sneaking up behind the... through the buses and just made my way. Obviously, be careful if you're a hunter. This is much more easier. But I ended up sneaking up behind, putting up my shield. If you're a hunter, you can invis. If you're a warlock, you can heal. But once my friend put his... put him down, I instantly went in there and started just using my sword. Obviously, this is going to be an easy clap because the sword's stupid powerful. And once he's down, you're going to see, what is it, like four captains which have solar shields. You're going to have goblins that can shield, two, oh, two unstoppable champions, and I think one phalanx, I think. So, honestly, the best advice right here would be to kill everything aside from every from the unstoppable champions and the phalanx once everything is done you're going to want to kill the phalanx and then after that you're going to want to kill the overload or not the overload the unstoppable champion unstoppable champion obviously take him down you can sort him take him down you can as a nagi you can do a lot of stuff but the one i would probably say is if you want to be safe is a nagi is the best choice honestly if you all are using it once that happens, uh, two Overload Champions are gonna spawn with a boss and taken Scions. You're gonna wanna kill the Scions fast because they can multiply and then the boss because the boss is just annoying. But once the bosses and everything is done, it's the Overload Champions and those assholes 
will insta kill you with a sniper if you're not careful. So I would suggest kill one, and then once you kill one, go in with the sword. If you're a hunter, go in visit. If you're a titan, you can put your shield up. I wouldn't recommend it if you're a warlock. But once you get there and your friend puts him down, just go to with use the sword and just insta kill him. Or you could just use his anagi. It's another great choice. So once you get to the res reservoir, this is probably where it's gonna get a little nutty, not gonna lie. So once you get here, there's gonna be taking thrall, taking captains, taking pretty much everything. It's gonna be pretty hectic, mostly because the taken uh, captains, their void bomb thing that they do, I don't remember what it's called, but their blight move will insta kill you if you're not careful. Sometimes you'll get lucky and just get almost one shot, but it's it's a little hard, not gonna lie. I, this part's really hard. Make sure one of your friends has solar because a lot of the captains, if not all the captains have solar shields. But once that is done, you're gonna be wanting each, each, uh, each floor you take, you're gonna be killing a captain. Once you kill to all the way to the bottom, you're gonna see a yellow barred captain. Just do the same thing. Honestly, what I ended up doing was I put a bubble and waited for my friend to put his shield down. That's a way I did it. Uh, there's a bunch of ways you can do it. If you have a hunter that's using Celestial Nighthawk, you can just tell him to use his super to put his shield down. You could do a lot of things in this area. So once you get to this room, this is probably where I'm gonna tell you to be the most careful because you're gonna have two unstoppable champions spawn. You're gonna want one of them to come in that way you can you know do the damage once you get him to the once you stagger him you can use your sword and kill him like we did i ended up using his anagis just because i don't have that much ammo here i put up a shield just to be more safe but obviously same thing applies make sure you can get him inside because there's a bunch of stuff on the other side that you do not want to die to and again same thing once he comes inside just kill him with your sword like i said we all end up just destroying him with our sword now i will say if you if you're like hitting him and hitting him and you see that he has still a little bit health left but he's like waking up and you can finish him off if there's nothing around you just finish him off don't be afraid to so once you get to the bridge area this is probably where a lot of people are going to die mostly because it's a lot of crazy shit happening there's a bunch of champions in this area as well not to mention scions uh snipers the taken uh what's it called the taken knight it there's a bunch of stuff so just i would recommend like always just take your time make sure everything's dead don't run in blindly always make sure you know where you're going remember you have a sword sword peak corners if you have to this is not PvP, you do not have to feel like a scumbag, so just sword peek as much as you want. I What I ended up doing was, I was taking out the Scions, because the Scions are one of the biggest problems in my opinion, because they can just keep respawning, as you guys can tell. I've been shooting the same Scion for like the past 10 minutes. Not really, but you get to drift. So, from here, I would actually recommend you use your Izanagi combo to kill this boss. Not only that, but let's say... Let's say one of your friends doesn't have his anagis. That's okay. Just hit him. Let your other friends murder him, but always shoot him. Make sure he's always getting damage because if you're not, if no one's shooting him, his health will regen. So you guys will see like some of us just shooting him because we need to get that health down or just constantly being hit. That's the thing with overload champions. If you want, you could, I wouldn't recommend anarchy, but anarchy is a great one because you could literally shoot one and it's always going to be doing damage but just shoot him with your pulse rifle that's enough just make sure you're super far away that he doesn't shoot you on the left room there's going to be a lot of scions i would recommend you not go through there in this instance i would say if you have your friend with like, like my friend had uh if you have someone using borealis for whatever reason or a a solar void or solar sniper rifle then i would highly suggest you guys take out the knight all the way at the end because he will fuck your shit up if you're not careful. So just take him out. Me and my friends did that. I was like, guys, we need to take him down because once we get to that point, we I don't want to have anything shooting at us. So we took him down and instantly I felt a lot better. Now, this is where I can see some people using anti-barrier rounds because 
when the knights put their barrier, you can still shoot them if you have anti-barrier. So if you have someone who's using as an, if you have someone who's using like Ariana's Val, you could use that, like for real. But honestly, the biggest thing I can tell you is be careful of Scions. I know they're like garbage <laughs> ads, but in the GM Nightfalls, they are something to be afraid of because they will fuck you up. So if you're not careful, you will die. So the next footage, I unfortunately don't have where I'm shooting right now, where me and my friends are shooting. There is an overload champion and an unstoppable champion. So obviously I don't have ammo for my Izanagi. So I went all the way back to see if I can find some. Unfortunately, I did not. And I ended up dying from stupid reasons. But there's a few ways you can do it. Let me see if I actually did record it. Okay. So as you guys can see where my friends are at right now, that's where they ended up destroying all the champions, which is a great way to do it as well. That's probably the most optimal spot to do it. As you guys can see the the dudes right there, they, they already killed the unstoppable, which meant that me and my other friend could go in there with our swords and just finish them off. I will say that's the best way to do it. And there's, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing to say right here would be the best spot to do it after you kill everything obviously after you kill everything that's the best part to kill the both champions now the next area is going to have an unstoppable champion right next to the not rex not right next to the door but like close to the door as you can see right there and obviously use your sword to peek but there is an unstoppable champion right there and an overload champion on some stairs like like the other ones make sure the the enemy comes out in a perfect spot. I unfortunately couldn't hit him because of the uh, the shield. The shield was preventing me from doing any damage. And from there, just kill the adds like like regular. This is where I'm going to tell you to be careful because there is a Taken Knight. And Taken Knights, as you guys know, can throw fire. They have the Void Boom uh, gun. They can do a lot of damage. So I would highly recommend that you guys take out the taken knight first and then manage the overload champion unfortunately the overload champion got behind the taken knight and that shit was annoying so we couldn't take him down immediately so i would just recommend you do exactly what i just said because that's the that's the way we did it and it took us a little longer than usual mostly because the Taken Knight was just literally right in front of that dude all the time. It's really annoying. So, yeah, and honestly, the Taken Burn that the Taken Knight drops will fucking kill you almost instantly. So that's why I'm telling you, be careful. This part is really dangerous as well. After you're done taking care of the Overload Champion and the Taken Knight, there's going to be another Taken Knight upstairs with Solar. You're going to want to basically have your Solar person kill his shield. And if you want, you can do go in with the sword. That's what I ended up doing. Or you can just use Izanagi. Literally, guys, whenever I say you can do this or that, Izanagi should be another choice. I'm not saying it because I'm assuming not everyone is using Izanagi. It's mostly because people don't like that. I don't know why. But I would recommend you do that. So I ended up putting a, sh a shield right there, mostly because I was a little afraid that I was going to die. So that's why I did it. And there is a bunch of stuff in there. So I just recommend take this part very slowly. There's taken goblins in there. And there is one void shielded uh, wizard here. So the only shielded wizard that's void here. So just be careful. So what I ended up doing was I ended up trying to kill her shield with my pulse rifle. But then we just went in with our swords because our swords are, are void. And fortunately, I ended up killing her before anything else happened. And I just raised my friend and he got up. This is where it's be careful. Don't get too overconfident because you will die. The next area is going to be a bunch of taken thrall, a bunch of taken thrall usually. And don't go all the way in because for whatever reason, our overload champion didn't spawn as fast as I thought he would because we went in all the way. We started shooting. And then the overload champion kind of spawned in. So I would say, be careful. Don't go all the way in. I got instantly scared because I was like, I do not want to die because this was our last try because most of us were either sick or tired. So yeah, just be careful. Don't get caught off guard like we did. And 
I think that's the no. There's two more overload champions, but they're in a simple spot that you can kill them. And honestly, if you don't have much ammo, just use your pulse rifle. It's gonna take a while, but I mean, be safe, man. Don't get overconfident. Don't think you can do it. Just, just be safe, man. So after that, there's gonna be a bunch of scions and goblins. Just kill everything as fast as you can. You use grenades. Use whatever you want, honestly. If you want, use your super. You're pretty close. If you're a Titan or a Warlock with Well or Bubble, do not use your super. Have your Hunter with Tether or whatever he's using. Just tell them to use their super. Once it gets to this spot, an Overload Champion is going to be here. Like I said, just make sure your homie can take him down. I would not recommend using your sword because at the other side of the corridor, there is another Overload Champion. That's how you saw me. I saw over there just to make sure and he was there. So I would just recommend you use your whatever you need to if you if your hunter did not use his super if you have goldie this would be the perfect spot to use golden gun once you take him down you're going to want to take the other overlord champion down which is the same thing just use whatever distance thing you want to use i ended up using my last shot of his nagis which pretty much ended up doing the trick and then the boss fight honestly is probably the most simplest part so for the boss fight if you're a, if you're a titan with bubble you're gonna bubble if you're a warlock with well you're gonna well and that's it because once the boss spawns you guys are gonna see right now i'm not gonna talk at all i'm just gonna look i'm gonna look with this look i'm gonna like see this with you guys so you guys can see like he's already half health dude's gonna fucking go down that's it that's really it that's why I, I was like pushing for all of us to have a sword because I knew it was going to be fast. Now, this is the part I don't know and I'm just going to tell you right off the bat. Survive. Don't be stupid and just be like, we beat it. Ha! Survive. Because if you all die and you got sent to orbit, I could see that happening. So just be careful. You didn't win just yet. Survive. Make sure you don't do dumb shit. And you should be done. You should be done in about some good time and some good uh points that's pretty much it i uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below dude i really watched the whole thing with you guys to make sure you guys got this because i wanted you to know that you got this man this shit is not that hard granted the first few times is gonna feel hard especially if this is your first gm but it's all about basically getting to, getting used to the same thing over repetition it's literally you doing the same thing over and over and over until you get to the point where you feel so comfortable you know what you can and cannot take i'll give you a great example for me prophecy the dungeon i can already do it solo by myself without anyone and i got to a point where i can do it comfortably i can say the same thing for pit of heresy i can do that Pit of Heresy, I can do it so comfortably, I almost fall asleep sometimes. Just keep going, and I promise you guys, you guys will do it. You, I know you got this, guys. If you guys want to do, if you guys want to push for content like this, push. Just push yourself, and then you'll do it. And the, honestly, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want the Conqueror's title. So, let me know what you guys thought about this guide. This is my first type of guide that I do this, and I'm really hoping that it went well. I'm hoping that I taught you guys something. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for getting up to this point. If you, uh, be careful out there, guys. You know what's happening in the world. Be safe, be healthy, and I will see you guys later.